The OG3, what is something that you didn't get to do in the first movie that you were so excited to get to do this time around? Ooh, I got to work with the actors in the booth in real life. Mm. And I didn't get that the first time around. Although I do feel like the the talent that runs through this whole story, this whole film, this whole project uh, is so wicked that that even though the first time around I may not have had them in the room, it was as if they were there uh, with, with their reading. But there is nothing like that human interaction. Yeah, that has to change it up a little bit, yeah. Shamik, last time Miles was struggling with taking his leap of faith. Mm -hmm. What is he struggling with this time in the sequel? How he's gonna wear that mask, you know? But honestly, I think I think it's more about the the initial, you know that feeling when when you want to be accepted by people or uh, was it validation? I think he's seeking some validation from the spider society. He feels like he's the ultimate version of himself if he's able to go through dimensions like Gwen or like Peter and et cetera. You know, he, he just wants to be accepted by the society. But as soon as he figures out like, okay, you guys are a little different than me or for whatever reason, it's not that they're bad, it's just perspectives, you know. My moral compass is what it is, and obviously everybody else is a little crazy right now, so <laughs> I'm gonna do what I wanna do. And he wears that mask completely at that point. So I think it's the validation aspect, but I think as soon as he has an understanding of the stakes, he's good, he's, you know. I think one of the reasons I was like sobbing at the beginning is, Haley, we get to go into Gwen's world, and it is so beautiful. I heard it described as a mood ring, which I think is like the most perfect way to describe it. How did going into that world, exploring that a little more, do you feel like that informed uh, your perception of the character even more? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, right off the bat, we learn, I learned a lot about her, and it's uh, it's a lot of information in a, in a quick little hit right there off the top and, and then we get to dig deeper into it. So I, I was so excited to have the opportunity to to myself get into that uh, and, and learn more about her and discover things as we went along. But even more than that, that the fans the fans get a little more insight into her world. Absolutely. And Jake, in the, the first movie, we get to see Peter B. Parker going, I don't want to be a dad. And then he kind of parents Miles and then he goes, wait, do I want kids? And now he has a daughter. How is Peter B. Parker the father? Well, I think he's pretty good. I mean, he, he probably shouldn't bring his daughter on these missions, but you know, she might have something to her. But I think for him, in dealing with Miles and getting to know him, he did see that there's something great about the new generation and there was something he hadn't seen before. And that is, there's something really fun about watching somebody else take over. And I think realizing that was his idea of saying, maybe I'm ready for this next step. Mm -hmm. Um, this is like, you know, this whole franchise is a Where's Waldo of, of talent. Is there an actor you would love to see join this franchise at some point? Uh, Dennis Franz hmm. from NYPD Blue. I would like to see him come out of retirement. I'd like to hear that Chicago accent in the mask. That is specific. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. <laughs> we gotta throw like Rihanna in there or something. Mm. Mm, that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be great. Do you ever think about what your multiversal self would be doing? It's like, what if I didn't move to LA? What if I didn't start acting? You met your multiversal self, what are they doing? Mine is probably designing an app and really into, he's designing a city. Wow, uh, I, uh, I, don't, I don't know what I'd be doing. Mine's about 30 pounds fatter living in Chicago. <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> what is a quality about each of your characters that you admire most or maybe wanted to adopt after doing this role? Um, I love the whole concept of uh, taking that leap of faith um, and how we wear the mask really being like important because I am taking that with my, <laughs> how I am uh, an actor, or what that means, whatever impact I have on the people I have the impact with what I do with it, I, I really want to, um, it's how I'd step in that as Shamik, and I, I really want to leave a lasting impact on the human experience. I, I do love that that Gwen's, I feel one of her, a lot of this experience uh, that she's having and, and this journey that she's on is about really finding her purpose. Um, and I do feel that she believes a lot of it has to do with helping people and, and also leaving a, a lasting positive impact on, on those around her. And I, I too would love to do the same. And I think Peter's finding some uh, optimism, which I think is nice. Yeah, he is. He is. <laughs> he really... a slightly different Peter. <laughs> slightly different, yeah. <laughs>
Come on, go easy on the kid. He had a terrible teacher. Peter. Miles. Mayday. You have a baby? I have a baby. <laughs> I'll take it from here.